Hey everybody and welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at horse husbandry. So new to Farming Simulator 19 is the uh, animal type of horse and there are several aspects to horse husbandry uh, that are important to be uh, discovered and understood before you really dive into horse care. So first thing we want to do is let's take a look at the horse um, pen. Go to our animal screen here in the placeables area and then we have two horse paddocks We've got a normal horse paddock which is fifty thousand dollars and fifty dollars a day uh, holds eight horses and then we have the large horse paddock which holds 16 horses and is ninety five dollars a day and ninety five thousand dollars to purchase Let's talk about putting these down. I want to put down this um, small horse paddock simply because we don't have a lot of room anymore here on the South American map. And I was going to put it right about here. I want to lower it down a bit. I don't want it to be too terrible high uh, to get up into. So let's go ahead and not really the best uh, placement for it, but uh, we don't really have a lot of options at this point. Sneaking in over here anywhere. Or then putting it down on a field, which I would rather avoid. It's kind of particular that way. This area a little flatter. It looks like this area over here is a bit flatter, so let's go ahead and see about putting that down right there go ahead and run on over there and check that out. While we're... Yeah, let's go ahead and check that out over here. Here we have our horse paddock. You see the horses take straw is our water trough we have the food trough and then we have the delivery point for our horses so if we go ahead and hit the R button for the uh, horse dealer screen you see the horses all cost five thousand dollars you also have a large uh, option as far as the horses we can get we get a gray horse pinto Palomito, Palomino, Chestnut, Bay, Black, Seal Brown are done. It uh, doesn't really matter which we go with. I'm going to go with the uh, with the Chestnut horse. And we can uh, see that there is a delivery fee of $300 if we do not transport this horse on our own. Let's go ahead and confirm it. And there we go got ourselves a horse. Now let's look in the animal screen. Scroll down here to horse paddock. And one thing to note, we can go in here and we can change the name of our horse. Well, let's see here. Space to rename. Okay. So I can go in here and we can change this to whatever we want. And our horse is now renamed. Our horse also requires water, straw, oat, and hay. Okay, so we've got a harvester running over there harvesting some oats at the moment. We'll go buy a few bales of hay from the shop and uh, see about getting these guys, some this guy, some food. 
before we do that, let's also look about how we could transport our horses manually. We go to the shop, we go to animal transport. We have this Brockman or Bachman Big Master Western WCF horse trailer. $16,000 and it holds two horses. That is the only way that we can transport our horses in the base game. The horse trailer is right here, and you can see that we have the ability to change the color of the horse trailer. I'm going to change the color to red to try to match our pickup. Go ahead and buy that. And let's jump over here to our truck. run down to the, uh, the shop and let's get ourselves a uh, horse trailer darn slow traffic There is our trailer. Back up to it. And while we're down here, let's look at something else here at the shop. Let's go ahead and buy some hay bales. Buy... Yeah, let's buy four hay bales. There they are. And we'll come back down here and pick those up here in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and run this uh, up to the animal dealer. And uh, we'll be right back once we get up there. All right. Now, something else that's interesting to note about this animal trailer is we can unfold the trailer. It'll open up the back gate. We can open the cover, which will raise the uh, the fabric there in the back. And let's go ahead and go into the animal dealer. Let's find some horses. Let's go with a uh, Palomino and a Pinto. Okay, we are now loaded up in there. Let's fold the trailer back and let's transport our two new horses back to the uh, to the horse paddock. I'll just pull on up here. We don't have to unfold the, the gate. We could just hit R to unload our horses. Turbo and Oblivion. Interesting. There we go. Now we have three horses in our paddock. Let's go ahead and get these guys some water and straw. Run across the street here. Get our water trailer. Of course, you're going to need to use either this Joskin water trailer or the uh, a larger trailer that is uh, in the animal uh, area. So we've got under animals, we've got the Joskin Aquatrans water trailer, or you could use the MKS-8, or you could do the MKS-32 to haul water. We've already got this full of water. To uh, save ourselves a little bit of time. Across the street here. Start unloading our water. Let's see, this guy needs to be unloaded.
turn him off. Let's go back here and get our straw blower. Oh, wrong side. know how much straw our horses are going to need. So I better, better go get another bale of straw. That one only has 800 liters in it. Okay, we got, we got plenty of straw over here. Let's get this bale here. And in addition to uh, oat from the field, we could buy pallets of oats, um, should we so wish. And blow our straw into here. There's the straw plane starting to lift up into the uh, straw area. some more straw in here. While we're blowing that straw in, let's go ahead and check out the requirements. See our water is 1,050 for three horses. And we're going to have, looks to be about 2,000 liters of straw for our horses. Okay. Drop that there. I'm going to run over here and pick up our flatbed trailer. And then I'll be down and pick up our hay bales. Uh, when we come back, I will be back up here in the horse area to, uh, to feed our horses some hay. Just said and see. Just see if we can park these here. And if they will unload, look at that. Right off the trailer. Very, very convenient. Go ahead and check our animal screen. Took all four bales. We are full. 1,500 for hay for all three of our horses. So that's good. Now we're going to run over and get our tipper and fill that up with oats. And then we'll come down here and uh, feed our horses the oats. Be harvested out of this field. If you don't have an oat field ready and you need to uh, feed your horses, you can buy oats at the shop if you go to Big Bags. See that there is an oat bag here. $1,400 for a 1,000 liters of oats. Right. 
over here. We've got a full load of oats in our harvester here. Let's go ahead and get a full load. I think this trailer holds 12,000 liters, so we won't quite empty our harvester. Let's go ahead and take this over to the horse paddock again and see about feeding our horses the oats that they need. Whoa! <laughs> Did not know there was a big bump there. over here dump them in look at our information screen now that we've got a full load we've got 10,500 of oat and 10,500 of hay Now, now that we've got all of our requirements satisfied for our horses, we've got hay, oat, water, and straw. There are some other aspects to horse husbandry uh, that we need to pay attention to. First, let's go back here to the animal screen. And we'll see we are 100% on everything. But if we look here, right here for Mr. Ed, you can see we have a heart. Which I assume is health. Uh, this, not really sure what this icon represents. Um, I think it represents like um, stamina. And, and I'll show you why here in a minute. And then here we have uh, speed or training. Okay. So you can see we bought these horses for 5000 And they are now $2,975 each. Let's, uh, let's get on Mr. Ed here because we can ride our horses. Weren't aware, you just come up to the horse and you hit E, get on the horse. We get a little bit of a transition and now we are riding our horse. If you look at the F1 menu, you can walk backwards with the S button, you can walk forwards with the W button, you press W again. Can trot. We press W again. We can canter. And if we have press, oops, we press W again. We can gallop. Now you can see if we canter, we can jump. So we can jump the fence if we want. But why do that when we can just uh, hop off, open up the gate. You go back on our horse in uh, walk outside here hop off the horse close the gate back up and get back on the horse so to speak so again we can walk Go into a little bit of a trot. Do a gala or a canter. And with canter, we can jump. And then we can go into a full gallop. 
Now the full gallop, we can obviously do a jump. There we go. So the aspect of riding the horse is not only one to uh, have transportation, but two, we need to train the horses. And after we train the horses enough, uh, they will be worth much more money. In fact, uh, they will bring us a tenfold return on investment if we've invested enough time in to training them. The horses need several minutes of horse riding per game day. I believe it's about 10 minutes or so. Run down here to the shop and then we'll just see where we are with our horse riding for our daily requirement. We're able to basically overtake these cars. Just slow down. All right. So let's take a look at Mr. Ed. See our daily riding requirement is at 42% now. Uh, and the reason I'm thinking this is health or vital, not health, but vital or um, endurance or stamina is we are down to 78% on our stamina. Let's go ahead and run around the shop. And make our way back to the horse paddock. That should just about equate out to a uh, full day's ride requirement for this particular horse. And once we've done that particular, uh, particular chore, uh, if we want to maximize all of our horses, we'll need to ride each one individually uh, for the required duration. And then we are pretty much done with our horse care for the day. We'll uh, jump into tomorrow, ride our horse again, and we'll see. Uh, basically, we should see the price of the horse start to go up as we train the horse more and more. There is a timeout value. On horses, if you if you hop off the horse and don't bring it back to the horse paddock, after a specific amount of time, the horse will basically find its way home, so to speak. So you don't really need to be worried about losing your horse. You know, you jump off it for some reason, and then you can't figure out where where the horse is anymore. If you haven't seen the horse running through the fields with the crop. You know, Bending down, that's pretty cool. Slow down and just stroll through the field slowly uh, to see that. It's pretty, pretty neat. If you have a wheel and pedal set, you can also uh, change their, uh, their running with the uh, accelerator and the brake. Uh, you could also obviously drive the horse with the steering wheel. So they make pretty wide turns. Um, there can be a, a lot of wheel turning if you try to do it that way. I find using the A and D key on the keyboard to turn the, the horse is a lot easier than the steering wheel. Okay, let's just check. That should do for our daily requirement. Almost 97%, and you can see we're down to 51% on on what I'm thinking is the stamina. Just quit run up this way. And find our way back. Should just about do it. Now, what I, I wish there was a first person view 
of uh, of the horse riding. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but there isn't any other camera available to us. We take a look here. Should now be up to 100% of our daily riding. Okay, so we're going to hop off this guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to advance time into tomorrow. And I'll be right back. And we're back. It is now the next day. See our um, <clears throat> top gauge has moved from 5% to 15%. Uh, in just one day, we are, our um, cost of the horse, Mr. Ed, uh, is now $7,600. So we could sell this horse for a small profit. Uh, our stamina, or what I'm thinking is our stamina, we'll, we'll figure out what this thing is, uh, is at 44% still. Let's go ahead and... Hop on and uh, basically get our daily riding in. Time, let's run across. Uh, let's run this way. See, it's 10:36 uh, game time. We're going to uh, do a time lapse this time around, and I'll be back with you once we are at 100%. You can see we now have a. Oh, well, we don't want to chainsaw the horse. We now have an option to clean Mr. Ed. You see, he's kind of dirty compared to the other horses here. Don't get a clean option. If we go over here and then clean. Well, that was quick. We kind of hear a brushing sound. Right? So, I'm guessing that was dirt. That was a dirt icon. Let's take a look. And now we are back up to 100%. So, I was incorrect. That is not stamina. Kind of made sense. It went down while we were riding him, right? Uh, but that was actually dirt. So, we can clean the horse. That is his health because he has all of the food requirements. And we have once again ridden this particular horse to 100% of his daily need. So, now we will go ahead and... Fast forward time once again, and we'll be back in another day. So it is day three of our horse husbandry how-to video. And uh, as you can see, go back to our horse screen. We are now up to 25% for our uh, speed, or, or basically our value of our, our training of our horse. And we are now up to $12,875 for this particular horse's value. So I'm going to go ahead and ride the horse yet again. I'm not going to uh, keep you guys here. Uh, but basically, we're going to go ahead and advance uh, this, this horse all the way up to 100%. And I'll be back with you once we've got that done. I'll let you know how many days it took. And uh, we'll sell the horse for what its ultimate final value is going to be, which should be about $50,000, if uh, if I am remembering correctly. Again, we are currently in day three of, of our horse training 
experiment. I'll be right back. So we have gone ahead and advanced the clock through several game days, and we are now in basically 11 days after we purchased the, the horses. And let's go ahead and look at our information screen for the animals. You can see that Oblivion and Turbo are actually only $500. They're only worth $500 now. Uh, they have 0% training, 100% health, and 100% cleanliness. But for our Mr. Ed, uh, he is at 100% training, 100% health, 100% cleanliness, and he is worth $50,000 now at this point. So we would uh, come over here and load up our trailer with him we could obviously make ourselves a pretty good um, return on investment now one thing that I want to check is since our other horses lost training I'm going to move um, forward one day and just see if Mr. Ed drops um, any of the training at this point do this out of the way But if we go here to the delivery point or buy point, we can see that we can basically sell Mr. Ed if we wanted to and get $49,700 for him uh, if we sold him here. If we sold him over at the animal dealer, we'd get the full uh, $50,000. Let's go ahead and escape out of there. Uh, something else that I noticed during this whole um, fast forwarding is... Unlike Farm Sim 17, where you had uh, you feed requirements for seven days, uh, this actually gives you feed requirements for ten days. So we had water and straw, oat and hay for a full ten days of uh, of feeding once we filled these troughs full. So we're going to go ahead and talk about a little bit about the progression. In training and dollar value. Let's get over here. Let's hop up here on top of our building. There are some horses to look at. So if you remember day one, when we bought the horses, they were five thousand dollars to buy. They came with five percent training, and they were about what twenty nine hundred dollars or so in value. Day two, after we rode the horse for a hundred percent of its requirement. Uh, it was at 15% training. Uh, I don't remember the uh, I don't remember the the money on that, but I think it was like $7,900 or so. Uh, day three, we were at 25%, and it were worth $12,876. Uh, day four, we were at 35%. So have you seen a trend here? We're basically increasing our training percentage by 10% each day, all the way up to day 10. Uh, and at that point, uh, we were at 95% trained. And basically the progression uh, was about $4,900, $4,950, just under $5,000 was the progression per day in increase in um, the, uh, the sell price. So on day four, the horse was worth $17,826. Uh, by day eight, the horse was worth thirty-seven thousand six twenty-six, and day ten, which was yesterday, uh, we were at ninety-five percent training and we were worth forty-seven thousand two hundred and seventy-one dollars. And now today we are at a hundred percent training and we are worth fifty thousand dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward one. Oops, wrong, wrong button. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward one more day just to see if Mr. Ed does lose um, training percentage because uh, these other two definitely lost training uh, from 5% down to zero and they've completely lost their value now. They are down to $500 as opposed to the $5,000 that we paid for them. All right, we have fast forwarded, as I said, into the very next game day and take a look, guys. Uh, so Mr. Ed... 
uh, he has lost a little bit of value. He's lost $990 uh, from where he was before. He's now only worth $49,010, and he's lost 2% of his training. So with horses, uh, we definitely need to, if you're going to be training horses for profit, uh, you're going to need to be riding these guys every day for their 100% requirement in order to get the most out of these guys. If uh, you go and miss a horse uh, any one given day, they are going to lose a little bit of their training and a little bit of their value as a result. At this rate, it's going to take you know, quite a while for them to get back down to, to zero, but still, it's not something that you can really necessarily forget about and then come back to, and they're still at maximum um, monetary potential. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, if it was, please go ahead and click that like button. And if not, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, there will be more how-to videos uh, coming out into the channel in the near future. So until next time, happy farming.